What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick modeling tutorial. So today we're going to use the extension slicer to create a bench. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a shape that we can kind of extrude into an overall bench shape. And so to do that we're going to start off and we're just going to create kind of a canvas with the rectangle tool. So just tap that R key and then tap the left key on your keyboard to lock this to the green axis and just draw a rectangle to start off and uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of rough out the shape of our bench we're gonna start off and we're just gonna come in here and we're just gonna use the line and arc tools to kind of come in here and just give us kind of a rough shape and I'm kind of trying to use the uh, I'm kind of trying to use the uh, tangent option of the arc tool to make my curve smooth so and you do have to be kind of careful when you do this um, first of all, to just not make your curves too sharp. Um, you want them to be kind of soft, gentle curves, basically. And so first thing you're going to do is you're going to come in here and you're just going to rough out this shape. And that's already too long because I want my bench to be about 2 foot 6 inches, maybe 3 foot deep total. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to adjust the size of my canvas just like this. And I probably should have done that first, actually. But I'm going to start off, and I'm going to adjust the size of my canvas. And then I'm just going to come in here, and I'm just going to kind of draw the arcs that I want. And sometimes you may end up doing what I just did there, where you just kind of come in here, and you draw an arc that's a little... Uh, that's a little steeper than what you're looking for and then you can just pick one of the segments and just kind of draw a line extending up out of that just like this so this kind of gives us our rough shape of our bench right here and you got to make sure that um, the points that you draw actually uh, come off the end of lines for these faces to work um, sometimes it'll kind of draw it right off of this line and so it won't actually close in this face but once you've kind of got the face closed in just like this you've got kind of this general shape what you can do is you can come in here and you can just push pull that to whatever length you want so in this case I'm gonna push pull this We'll call it 12 feet. So we'll type in 12 foot and hit the enter key. And so now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to come in here with the uh, slicer tool. And uh, we're going to want to slice this up into pieces. So to start off, what we're going to do is we're going to put all this geometry in a group. So just kind of drag your mouse across this whole piece just like this. And then uh, what you're going to do once you put this in a group is Slicer won't work unless you save your SketchUp file first. So go in and save this file. Um, so do a file, save as, whatever you want to save it as. So once you've saved your file, what you can do is you can come in here with Slicer. So select your group that you've created with all your geometry. Then come in here and select the slicing tools, so this first option right here. And you can get Slicer from the Sketchication Warehouse. I'll link to it in the notes below. So we're just going to select this object, and then we're going to come in here, and we're going to set our spacing at 6 inches. That means that you're going to have 6 inches for each slice. And then you're going to have... 5 inches is going to be the actual thickness of your slices right here. So, and you can come in here and you can set your centralization to slice. That means it'll center it on the center slice. And we'll just kind of see what that comes up with. You may get a little bit of overlap. But so select that Y axis, 6 inch spacing, 5 inch thickness. And then uh, you can say no to add references and to flatten. We don't really want to take this and flatten the pieces. So just say no on those. And then uh, just go ahead and come in here and hit the OK button. What that's going to do is that's going to come in here and that's going to slice this model up just like this. And so you can see what that did is that came in here and that broke this up into different slices. And you can see there's kind of some overlap here. So you could either come in here and delete the two end pieces so you don't have any overlap anymore. Or you could kind of mess around with everything with the scale tool if you wanted to. Um, but basically, so what you've got here is you've got kind of your general bench shape. All right, so the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to come in here and we're just going to draw our bench support. And so all we're going to do for that is we're just going to come in here with a circle and we're going to draw a uh, one inch radius circle along this face. And uh, you're just going to kind of push pull it through your object at this point um, so that it's all the way down here. And uh, you can go ahead and push pull that about three inches uh, beyond the face on each side of this. So just uh, extend it about three inches, then triple click on it to go ahead and come in here and make it a group. 
And then um, what we're gonna do next is we're just gonna come in here. We're just going to basically draw a path. Um, something that we can extrude kind of a support shape along. So, and I'm just gonna come in here and I'm just going to draw kind of a canvas like I usually do to kind of rough out the shape of this path. So you just come in here and you can kind of make this look however you want it to look. So in this case, I'm just gonna make this very simple. Um, the original was probably a little more complex, but basically I'm just gonna come in here and I'm just going to draw basically a line from a point over here. I'm just gonna draw kind of an arc just like this. So I've got kind of a nice smooth arc just like this. You can see how I've kind of drawn a path. Then I'm gonna come in here and just draw a circle along this face with a diameter of one inch. And then all you gotta do, and actually what you may wanna do is you may want to make a copy of this. So just uh, select this whole path, then use the move tool to kind of create a copy. So what you can do is you can uh, flip this in place using the scale tool and then move it back. And then I'm actually gonna come in here and I'm gonna scale this in a little bit because I don't want it to extend so far back behind my object. So you can see how when I scale that in, that may kind of give you a little bit of distortion on your circles. So you want to may want to come in and redraw that just so you get kind of a smoother curve. But then just come in here, select all of this. You can unselect your circle and then use the follow me tool to extrude that along this face just like this. And then all you got to do is you can triple click on that and you can make it a component and just call it chair foot. So you can come in here, you can call that chair foot, and then you can move a copy of it across just like that. So now you've got kind of a bench with your two feet in here, and you can come in here and modify those. Again, I'm more trying to teach kind of the general principle of how to use slicer to come in here and do this. So I'm just gonna come in here, I'm gonna select all my different parts and pieces, and I'm just gonna color them white, just like this. So, and then the last thing you can do is you can come in here and you can select all these different objects, but then you can come down here to the soften edges option and uh, you can just drag this slider a little bit until your horizontal lines kind of go away. So you can see how that got most of them. Um, you can check this soften coplanar box and that'll get the rest of them. So now you can see this is a nice smooth model in here and you could come in and you could swap out the feet or do whatever you wanted to do to kind of uh, customize this. So anyway, that's where I'm gonna wrap up today's video. Uh, leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Did you like this? Is this, um, are you enjoying the slicer extension? I just love having that sketch up conversation with you guys. Um, if you like this video, please take a second and click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. Uh, if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. That just helps me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.